Hey y'all, I'm here. So, if you're not super careful, it's easy to build up a lot of stuff. It, well, not necessarily a lot of stuff, but it's easy to build up stuff in your world file that doesn't actually need to be there. So, it's good to go through from time to time and just clean out stuff that either should be pulled in as a dependency or just doesn't need to be there at all. So, Various scripts exist that help you look over what's in there, like this one that I grabbed from the wiki. But even then, they're just like helpers that kind of give you an idea of like, okay, things depend on this, might be best to not remove it, or like, I don't even know what the no-matches-found case means. <laughs> Seem to just be stuff that nothing depends on, but might have been just, like, manually installed for a reason. Yeah, I don't really know. But anyway, this is a bit of sample output. And one bit of stupidity I'm going to specifically point to for why you need to take this with a grain of salt. So it's saying that Portage needs to stay in the world file, but because Portage is supposed to be pulled in just by the system or whatever, it's generally recommended to not have that in your world file at all. I just didn't know that initially, so most of my Portage upgrades have not had the one shot flag. Yeah, you can see some others like Dlib, it didn't really find anything that depends on it. Grub, if I remove it, it's gonna. Well, if I depth clean it at least, it's gonna pull other stuff with it. So yeah, this and some similar scripts and a forum thread that I'm probably going to link can help you at least get a starting point. But ultimately, these scripts won't be able to tell you like what you do and don't want. They can only give some recommendations of what seems sane. And also, another check you can run is just emaint dash dash check world, which pretty much everything I've found on this is just that it looks for issues with the world file. The wiki page I read and the man page didn't seem to expand at all on what those issues are. So I'm not sure if it's just, like, obviously stupid things that shouldn't be there, or file corruption or what, but doesn't look like it found any issues with mine, so yeah, that's a thing. And then, once you have an idea of some things you might want to get rid of, just deselect them one by one, and then do a pretend depth clean after each one just to see how much gets removed. So like I mentioned earlier the portage is in my world file and shouldn't be. So just gonna deselect that and then do a pretend depth clean and ideally it shouldn't find anything to remove because that's the only thing I've deselected since my last depth clean. And yeah, you can see no packages selected and let's try and find one more. 
I'm pretty sure I have Node.js in here somewhere that I think was just a dependency for something I built from source once. Yeah, based on the script check, it says it needs to stay. But let's see how true that is. And just do that pretend depth clean again. And unless anything depends on node, which I think some stuff does, so that'll probably stay. Yeah, so nothing selected for removal. And also, if you looked closely enough, I'm pretty sure packages in world was 186 last time I ran this, so... If node was going to pull anything I didn't want gone with it, then to re-add it to the world file, just emerge dash dash no replace. I don't know why that got brought to the clipboard, but yeah, no replace just so it doesn't rebuild it, because all you really want to do is just add it to the world file. And then, when you do cleanups like this, if you end up actually removing anything, make sure to send whatever output from your next step clean to a file, just so you can have that note later of what got removed in case anything breaks. So, easiest way to do that is just Next time you run an actual depth clean, type it to T, and just whatever file name you want to save it as. So yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video. Hopefully it helped someone, and uh, have a nice rest of your day.